huge thing these days and fighting game tournaments are probably bigger than ever. Yeah. Is there, are there some things that, you know, really advanced players will look forward to in this game? Well, we, obviously, there's a lot to discuss about when we're doing the rage mode, but... Well, I mean, they've generally made a few um, design choices with the game to make it a bit more viewer-friendly. So, like you say, Evo is a big is a big point in the game, and uh, in many interviews with Harada, he's, he's mentioned about some little things like, um, you know, the, the rage arts, for example, is helps a lot with the viewership, and, you know, Little things like that can help understand, even if you don't even play Tekken, like, yeah. uh, hardcore, then you can still see, if there's a rage art, there's going to be a big move that's going to happen. Those moments, they get the crowd hype, that anticipation yeah. and that payoff that people love at things like EVO. Yeah, but that's the whole thing about game, games like this. I think it's a really good game for people that really want to get into it, but also people that just want to play, play it casual, ah, oh, let's yeah. play a game. Um, yeah. You just play a couple of games and you're all happy. Um, so I think it's good for all kinds of people. It's not really only for people that want to go on stage and whatever, win things. Yeah. Um, so um, that's why I like about fighter games overall. Yeah, there's you know there's definitely times when I'll play someone that's like really good and yeah. you're trying to have the mechanics and you really try and fight a, a sensible Run fight. Three. And then I might play a mate who's not really into fighting games yeah. and we just smash the button and try and beat each other. And you have just as much fun, you know. I, I know, yeah. You know, really. I always have like pain, like my hand hurts after like playing on a controller. Uh, I've no, I've never played with this, oh, but yeah, arcade stick. You gotta I've go with never played with arcade stick. So, but um, yeah, but like when I play with a controller, my hand hurts after because I do look into combos sometimes, but I'm not really. I just like to smash buttons. I think. Smash buttons. So I know it's not good, and after a while, if you play against someone who can play this very well, then you want to look into it. But well, I think one great thing about Tekken is you always have quite a. A, a difficult, but not as steep necessarily other fighting game. So, yeah. You know, if you played a game like Primal Rage back in the day with its incredibly convoluted combos, even Street Fighter to some degree requires a bit of mechanical knowledge. A lot of the Tekken stuff is rhythm based, timing based, and people can learn that in, you know, almost by playing other games and almost becomes a. Uh, you know, fluent, just the rhythm of a, of a button press. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's. I mean, there, there are still some advanced combos yeah. in Tekken, so. Uh, I'm not trying to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah make no, it seem like it's simple, but for those early players, you can start doing moves almost right off the bat. It's oh. also funny how you guys play. You're more like like this, and he's like. Oh. It goes so fast. Yeah, so what, what is the way to hold the arcade stick? Yeah. Is it with the two fingers underneath? Is it with the. There's no real. There's no top? like wrong way to uh, hold it. I mean. That's good to know. One. one uh, I mean, personally, I just hold it where my hand is rested, okay, 